Hi, it's Graham again from Spectrum Eye Care. Today I thought we will cover the macular grid, a rather interesting test, one that's not often used but invaluable if used correctly. This chart's used to evaluate the foveal area, it's just around the central fixation point. Have you ever, no matter what you do, had a patient who just cannot get the vision in one eye perhaps past 6, 9.5, just can't get better and you can't see any reason why? In elderly patients, one of the most common culprits here is an epiretinal membrane. It's very difficult to detect, but with the foveal grid, it makes it much easier. The patient misses letters all over the chart usually, and this is where the foveal grid comes to the fore. Let's see how we do this test. With the patient's habitual RX in place and one eye occluded, select auxiliary from the top menu bar. Select the grid from the lower menu bar and direct the patient to look only ever at the spot in the center of the grid pattern. Explain to them that you are assessing the area around their central fixation point and you need to lock their eye on the central dot. There are three questions we ask. The first one is, while looking at the central spot on the screen, are you aware of the four corners of the screen? If yes, move to the next question, which is, while looking at the central spot on the screen, are there any blotchy or missing areas in the grid pattern? Record accordingly and draw it if necessary. The third question, while looking at the central spot on the screen, are the lines straight and even or are they wavy and skew? We record our results according to their feedback. Patients with reasonably good VA, 675 say, complain unduly sometimes about difficulty to read. On this foveal grid, you'll pick up that they have a small scotoma just to the right of the central spot. These patients read from right to left when they get to the smaller letters. Have you ever had that as they come down the chart? They suddenly switch to reading from right to left. The foveal grid will detect it's often a small scotoma just to the right of their central fixation spot. They have difficulty reading into the words. A suggestion here is get the patient to tilt their book 45 degrees and read up towards the 45 degree right angle in the top corner. By doing this you're moving the scotoma underneath the line and they'll find it easier to read. More next time. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay connected via the LinkedIn community.